Hey, bro, I'm going to be real with y'all. I, I didn't even know anything about this, right? Because, you know, I've just been doing my own thing. You know, Eric July doing his own thing. He running his comic book company and still running his YouTube channel. He's going over to Blaze TV and all that stuff. Like, bro, this man is is, is making money. He's, he's a big success right now. But there are some people that would take things way too goddamn far. Over this man making a damn comic book company. I don't give a... Some people online saying, oh, we, we just trolling, we just trolling, we just trolling. No, those people are full-fledged leftists who hate the fact that this guy, this man right here, this hairy bastard right here, he made himself a comic book company, which he said for years that he was going to be doing, right? He said he was going to be doing it for years. He does it. He made four, he's making four series right now. The first one was Isom. The second one was the Alpha Core. And the third one is, is uh, Yara. I think, I think, and the fourth one I think is the Blood, Blood Roof, I believe her name was. So he's, so right now he's, he got three, uh, three characters work that's already out. And he's making it on his fourth one right now. He is making big business move. For the future. Because that's what he said he wants to do. That's what he's doing right now. But there are some people online. Who just take it. Take shit way too goddamn far. So. Like I said. Early, earlier this morning. I kind of just heard about this right. So. I looked it up to see what was going on. And apparently this guy. Uh, named Clipper. This fat, this fat ass white dude. He was he was online talking shit, talking about he was gonna shave Eric. Apparently, he had like uh, like some big ass some big ass scissors. I believe it. I believe it was. Yeah. So this yeah. So this guy right here. This guy right here. He's called Riley. I don't. He's some YouTuber. I don't know who the hell this guy actually is. Yeah, but I don't know who the hell this guy is. But he was. I think for a whole year now, because I did, I did see about this guy, uh, last year, where yeah, he was talking about he was gonna he was gonna shave Eric July. He's talking about he's trolling. He went to his business, took a picture because Eric July would not give him the time of day, which he doesn't have to. Then apparently this guy went to Eric July's great grandfather's grave and took a picture. Okay, no, no. First of all, first of all, for bro, bro. Real shit, real shit, real shit right here. I don't give a troll. I don't give a damn if you say you just trolling or not. But bro, I don't know you. You don't know me. All right? If I if I see online that you took a picture on my family's grave trying to get one over on me, bro, that's lights out. I, 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 I'm I'm gunning for you. And I'm making your lights go out. Because I don't give a fuck if you if you say it's just trolling. No, no, no. There's a, a difference between trolling and then being an asshole slash douchebag. You don't go to someone's uh, great-grandfather's grave or, or his great-grandfather's great-great-grandmother's. Uh, I don't know if I'm getting it right here. I apologize for that. But, bro, you can't say you're trolling and then take a picture on my great grandfather's grave, and apparently he took a, he took a piss on it. That's allegedly, allegedly. I don't know if it's, if, it, if, it's, if that was the real or not. I don't know if he was just saying shit. But bro, if I find out that you actually went towards my family's grave, I don't give a damn. I'm fi I'm finding you, cause me, I got nothing to lose. Every July has something to lose. I got nothing to lose. If I find out you did that shit, bro. I'm gunning for your ass. I'm, I'm making, I'm, I'm going to do the whole clap on, clap off. That's what I'm doing. Because you don't play that bullshit. I don't give a damn how much you hate this guy. Because he made a comic book and he talked trash on leftism. He talked trash on liberals. He talked trash on Republicans. But apparently, now see, he talked trash about Republicans. But you don't see the goddamn Republicans going up to his grave. Going up to his great grandfather's grave. 
It's going to show that leftism has no freaking limits. They will take shit way too goddamn far. And people have the nerve to defend this guy, Riley, who, again, was on camera slapping a autistic chick and then taking the piss on her. People are out here defending this guy, the guy that's getting arrested. Again, he took a piss. He, he slapped the autistic girl in the face and he took a piss on her. That's what that's what I'm seeing. What a lot of people are what people are saying from the Eric Julys to the yellow flashes to the uh, Saggy Millens. I think I, I think her name is still Saggy Millens. I think she rebranded her name. Yeah. But hell, even Ner he, bro, even Nerdest Newsstand. Ner Nerdet Newsstand. She hates Eric July. She's coming out and and, and defending Eric July. That's how you know you fucked up. If this, if this freaking leftist chick is defending Eric July, and not the other guy, bro, you know you screwed up big time. You know you screwed up. But yeah, man, you got a lot of people out here saying Eric July, Eric, Eric, uh, Eric July is a bitch. He's a coward. He was saying pull up, and all, and all that shit. Eric July, and a lot of people who was there, Eric July didn't even know he, that dude was even there. The dude was making a huge ruckus outside of the, of the conviction. On the outside, this private business, I mean, this private event that was going on, he just pulled up thinking like, yo, where he at? And the people, and Eric July didn't, didn't, call, didn't call the security. It was the venue that called the security. And guess what? The guy had an arrest warrant on him for harassment. He a dumbass. And y'all out here defending this guy. Y'all defending a full-fledged dumbass. Bro, look. Okay, some yeah, someone someone's already uh trash talking yellow flash. You are such you are such vile fascist scum, yellow trash. Okay, again, people just throwing out the word fascist. They don't even know what the hell fascist means. If people actually knew what fascist fascist means, they would not be out here just randomly calling people that. Like I said, yeah, this is what from, from what the what the yellow flash said, right? And for what I've, I've I've seen about eight months ago, I believe it was. I think I believe it was eight months ago. Um, pissing on Eric July's great grandfather's grave, showing up at his warehouse uninvited, and harassment at, at, at an event uninvited. That's disgusting and un unhinged. Anyone who supports this behavior can get fucked, in my opinion. No, 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 no. They're gonna get fucked. They can get fucked wholeheartedly. For, like for real, dead ass. Imagine making your life revolve around protests and so on for making comic books your life. Exactly. This is a this is all over comic books, bro. It's funny how people screaming about fascism are exactly the ones acting in a fascist manner. Maybe it's just proje a projection. Yeah, it could. Yeah, it could be. Agreed. Okay, so he didn't piss on the grave. He shot a short vid next to it. Showing up a publicly open part of the industrial complex is a big deal to you. Uh, going to a fan meetup after being told on air by Eric to, Eric to show up is not a crime meetup. What's what's happening to you? No, 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 no. He said, "Okay, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna show in the video." Again, like I said, it's he allegedly took a piss on uh Eric July's great grandfather's grave. Like I said, if that's true, if that bro, if that was me, I would be in jail right now. I would be I would have been got locked up, bro. But come on. This dude, but this dude is, is, is just, he say he's an online troll and he's just doing this, man. Okay, so, ain't, like I said, people out here out here defend, defend, defending the other guy that got arrested because he's trying to make himself a much more bigger, into a bigger platform, I believe. Like I said, he is a YouTuber. I don't know much about the guy. But let's just go ahead and see what's going on with uh, Eric July and what he says. Because a lot of people are um, are saying, like I said, they saying Eric July is a coward. He's a bitch. He's a noosey. 
all that bullshit. But so I've been instructed to give a public statement. That means that everything the public needs to know will be in this video. Thus, I'll have no further comments outside of this and anything else will need to be addressed with our legal team. You may know by now that a crazed man was arrested outside of a recent Riververse meetup after trying to cause a scene, heckling guests and attempting to interrupt the event. He was told by the venue to leave and stay off the property. The venue instructed him to leave and he refused. My bad. I was I was on mute the whole time. I, I apologize. But like I said, this is what the venue said. The venue the venue is the one who said who told him to leave. Every July didn't call the cops. The venue is the one who told that Riley got to leave. That's what happened. So his conflict with the police was created out of his own actions, and the cop explicitly states why he was called. Uh, As you can see, it was not us that called the police and I was unaware that this was even happening as I was enjoying the meetup inside with the fans. Yeah, like I said, like I said, this one, uh, did, hold, let me see if I, let me see if I, if I, if I can find that, 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 uh, that video real quick. Cause, uh, right here, he's, he, he's saying he's getting arrested. He's getting arrested right here. But, um... I think I think it's, it's on this guy's channel, former owner and, and editor. Um, yeah, a short thread of May and her boyfriend Riley. This whole situation is up, up beyond belief. We got another Mama JF to our wife situation, and I want to lay up out the law for the sector in case you do, you don't know. So let's get into the weeds with this S. First, I have no stick in the drama between Eric July and Dick Madison's crew. I just want to report on what I uncovered by the claims around mint salad, Riley, and how sick this S is. This is abuse, plain and simple. Riley is a, D, is a drug dealer and has, and has bragged about selling drugs online. He met Mint while living with a self-professed uh, pedo, trans YouTuber named Digger Bro. And what was described by a concerned friend as a crack house where Mint was living in deplorable living conditions. Riley was con contacted by Mint Salad's mother, who pleaded with him to be put into contact with her since she is up obviously mentally deficient and unable to uh, care for her own self welfare or really even comprehend what is going on. Riley mocks and belittles her mother in these caps. Uh, according to Mint's mom, Riley controls Mint's social media. She is often looking off camera, suggesting she is looking for approval from someone off cam. Riley pimps her out to men in the internet as a cam. H O W H W H O R E on adult websites and has passed her between uh, many men. Uh, I don't, uh, hey man, I don't know if this is true. I do not know if this is true. Mint explains the split with her parents, but she can barely form a coherent sentence as you can clearly hear her struggle to talk and Mint constantly uh, looking off camera towards someone for approval, most likely Riley. Mint was told by her parents to stop drawing corn. Or she couldn't live with them anymore. Mint called into Dick Matheson's show after he convinced her to continue drawing corn and to cut off contact with her folks because they're old Kranz boomers who don't get it. One of Mint's uh, friends called into Dick's show to mention the deplorable conditions she lives in with Riley at the tr Transpedal Crack House. He calls Dick out for manipulating and immensely challenged women and airing her life out to the internet. Uh, in this clip, you can clearly see that Mint is distressed like a lost child because Riley, who was in charge of her custody, was arrested for harassing the comic artist Eric July. She shuts down mentally and sighs heavily. People with autism often do this. In this clip, uh, we see Riley abusing Mint for money. Apparently, it's a stream go where if you donate a certain amount of money, he will hit her on stream. Holy fucking Christ. Bro, I don't even know if I can show this. I don't, bro, I don't, I don't even know if I can show this. Okay, so I'm 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 just I'm just try to make it right here, so I so we can still see it right we can, like we, we we can still see it right here, so I don't know if I, I don't know if I can do it. Okay, so he slapped her right there, and she's apparently autistic. So he slapped her. If you don't believe me that Mint is clearly mentally handicapped here, we can see Dick Madison begging one of his followers to put pick Mint up because he is unable to care for her own welfare. We get hurt, or we get lost, or hurt without a caretaker. See, he did. 
But no, 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 no. We ain't doing this. Anybody out here defending defending this piece of shit, go fuck yourself. There's no way in hell you can defend a guy like this. How could you? How could you defend a guy like this? Okay, yeah, I'm re I'm retweeting this because this is comments gate support this. How can? Pfft. Okay, screw it. Let's get back. Let's get back to the video, bro. Let's see, let's see, let's just get back to the video. We now know that he was arrested because of an outstanding warrant. So he needlessly created a conflict with the police despite having this warrant for his arrest. That warrant is in relation to stalking or harassment of me. This warrant was issued by the police department near our headquarters and it wasn't due to a singular event. Thankfully- Again, so he showed up unannounced to his warehouse. Again, but he but he's just trolling, right? It, why, why you gotta be so scared, Eric? First of all, my wife is there. Yeah, his wife is there. His co his workers are there. Bro, you're not invited here. Why are you here? Hopefully for us, this man documents most of what he does through social media posts, streaming, and recording himself. Our legal team has a mountain of receipts. That said, we think it's important for the public to understand the timeline and for some things to be cleared up. At no point have I had any discussion with this man. He does not appear to be a well-adjusted individual. He displays mental instability. He's violent and does not seem to be an honorable guy. Con and again, he, he does everything on social media, bro. From YouTube to Twitter. I don't know what, what else his social media is on. But, bro, the guy, is, the guy literally self-snitch on himself every goddamn time that he, he talks shit. Okay? He, he literally does. Considering he slaps an autistic woman on his stream and urinates on her for porn. You stalkers were filming piss content before looking at windows in Dallas every July. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Even in not, not so glamorous places. It's the mint salad way to make the best of it. First, I it's in the toilet and then I get on by ass Wiley in the shower. All at a hotel. I don't know if this is supposed to be satire. I don't, I don't know it's supposed to be satire, but this is, this is not funny. These are all recent events. For some reason, he made much of his social media presence about me. It started as an odd obsession with threatening to shave me. As odd as that is. Yeah, I remember that. That, that dude was walking down the damn street. He had a cameraman and, and some shit like that. Like, again, dude. This, again, this, this is the difference between trolling and then being a completely another freaking douchebag or asshole, okay? Because there are a whole bunch of troll uh, YouTube troll channels. They have messed with the wrong person, and either they get, either got beat up or they got shot. It was one or the other. Because some people don't be, take t uh, too kindly to get to being the butt of a joke. But people still do it because it's the best way to, to, grow, uh, to grow your channel, being a complete douchebag on the internet. I wrote it off, but my security detail began to keep tabs just in case. And as they suspected it es Hey, Eric July, if you watch the video, man, I wanna know, what kind, what kind of beard products do you use? Cause I wanna try to get my beard to that kind of length. I mean, it's, it's kind of getting there, if you guys see it. Barely. <laughs> I, want, I just wanna know what kind of beard products you use. Lady beyond mere internet trolling, Let's get some facts straight. This old video has been dishonestly shared around to suggest that I've invited this individual. Not only is the context removed, it's over a year old. Right. This means it predates me knowing of this person and it has nothing to do with them. You can tell it's old because there's no Blood Roof or Chadron posters in the- Blood Roof, that's what name, Blood Roof. Take it right. Background. When I've used the term pull up, I'm meaning to cordially discuss things. When I'm at a public event, now I've clarified this over a year ago and used the term much longer than that. Shops at Legacy, I'll be there. Go ahead and pull up. Pull up. If you, some of you, I mean, the RSVPs have already been laid. So, so Eric July got all the receipts here. He, he got all the receipts. And what is that? What, what is the Wiley guy got? Nothing. Go pull up to the booth. Chat with us. Boss. Yeah, he did get, get arrested for it. Uh, I, I think he was out. He was out the next day because his friends, his homeboys came and tried to. Yeah, came in and they did a whole freaking. Uh, went online, trash talking Eric July, saying like Eric, like 
Eric got him arrested because he couldn't handle him. Some stupid shit like that. Uh, shout out to the River vs. Gold Post. I'm consistently following these guys. But, bro, come the fuck on. Some items, if that's what you're into. We're going to have plenty, plenty of merch. Pull up just means let's hash it out. Let's link up. So that can apply to people that love me. We say pull up. Obviously, that's not what this individual has done. What they have done is crossed into territory that is unacceptable. To try to have the- Right, it is unacceptable. Anybody defending these guys is an idiot. Their actions justify. The man publicly has not told the truth about events. That hat logo that you all see is the Ripper versus logo. It's ours. This person attempted to and still does try to sell that online. It is not a parody as we're not talking about the text. We are talking about the actual hat logo. They tried to sell that completely unedited and Teespring, now known as Spring, busted them for copycat. They so he slaps autistic girls. He abuses autistic girls. He pisses on autistic girls. He went to Eric July's uh, great grandfather's grave. He went to his house, and he did. He 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 came up to an event trying to see him. He's a well-known douchebag online, but people still out here defending this guy because they hate Eric July. Again, this hey hey, hey that's who y'all support. That's who y'all support, man. I ain't got nothing to do with that. They did not obtain our warehouse address through this affair. Instead, they obtained our address through a completely unrelated thing. It was not from a DMCA of their own. Since then, this person went online and publicly stated multiple times that they'd be coming to Texas. They live several states away. We've documented them claiming this even in other people's streams and telling people that they'd be going to my personal home. The line especially got crossed when they threatened one of my employees on video shortly after spring disallowed the sale of our logo and still i didn't think that they would do something this insane this person drove all the way to texas to our business location which has several employees working there of course they would drive near the front of the building and then turn around during the day and then they came back at night stuck things on the window and took it to social media telling everybody that they do more so you can understand after that Security got in contact with the police, and since then, this person has continued to levy threats on the internet, doxed my house. This kind of anti-customer shit being a direct side effect of Eric July influence on the scene, exactly how you guarantee that someone like me escalates things way too far very soon. His young clipper, see you next time. Hey, bro, it's popping, for real. I don't play it, but you can hate me all you want, but, bro, you going to try to put my whole house on the internet so anybody, so any crazy-ass look, let this can go there and try to cause harm to my family? Bro, hell nah, bro. It's popping. Okay? It's popping, bro. I ain't trying to hear none of that BS from any any of his, uh, any of uh, Eric July's detractors. There's no defending this crap, man. Come on. He docks this house? Nah, man. It's popping. Okay? It's popping. And bragged about going to my ancestor's grave to deface it. Since growing my company. Okay, so what did you say right here? I pissed on the grave, but I didn't take a picture because I don't want it to be used in court. So he's literally incriminating himself. He's literally incriminating himself right here. People still out here def defending this guy. He said it right here. It could be used against you in the court of law. I don't want to hear any detractors of Eric July's saying like, oh, he ain't doing it. He said it right here. He incriminated himself like a full-fledged dumbass. To my ancestor's grave to deface it. Since growing my company, I've welcomed many people into the fold. This is much bigger than myself, and I am responsible for maintaining a safe work environment. I have employees and thus their families that depend on it when some right that's what i'm saying eric july better than me because he got he got business to run like i said some dude was doing that to my uh, to my family's my family's grave man i'm going to jail one displays this type of behavior and i would proudly go to jail too because ain't because last thing you do is fuck with my family right you must report it
Because if you don't and something happens, you're going to be the one held liable. Even if this was a random person that did this, our security team would still have us contacting the police. Considering the great lengths this person went through and their mental instability, we can't afford to take this lightly. We live in reality, not wishful standards. If someone were to get hurt, political posturing won't help us. I had to have a long conversation with our employees because many of them were creeped out, as you can imagine. They deserve to have a peace of mind and should not feel unsafe. Agreed. I informed the authorities that I can handle myself, and I always like my odds, but I'm no fool. I will treat threats accordingly and fear for my employees more than myself. I will not be the person that mishandled a situation or was unprepared simply because he didn't take it seriously or he thought that he was some sort of macho man. And we've seen their actions. This person is not owed any benefit of the doubt. Even if we didn't know who this guy was, if a random guy did this, we do our due diligence. If you do not have employees, dozens of employees, and a business to protect, I don't anticipate that you will understand the importance of due diligence. I'm not risking my business, my life, or the lives of those around me, especially not for those that have already applauded efforts to have the state weaponized against me in hopes to ruin my business. Right. So let me be crystal clear. The Ripperverse welcomes all respectable people in agreement or disagreement. We appear at cons and have our meetups. As long as you are respectable, you more than likely will get the chance to talk to me in person about anything you want. RSVP when appropriate and respect the other guest. If you really wanted to speak with me, and it's not just simply trying to put on a show for internet engagement, you actually want to talk to me, it's a very easy thing to do. If you want to be critical of me, go right ahead. Stay on the internet and troll make as many videos as you like but do not appear at my house. Do not dox me or those around me, those close to me, and do not threaten my employees. It's hard to imagine that all of this is over comic books. Exactly, all this is over comic books. And yeah, this, the whole, <laughs> I've seen some posts online, when Texas talk, right? When they say, do not come to my house, it's, me, it's, it's, it's a literal promise. You come here, and I find out somebody likes might be going out. And it's definitely ain't gonna be mine. Do not come to my house. Though a lot my house is my sanctuary. It's where my peace of mind is, it's where I rest, it's where I eat. It's what it's where it's where his wife is, it's where his out and gets his dogs. And I'm get, that's that's where he's, he's gonna live his life. Probably with his future children. Do not come to his house, bro. A lot of untrue things have been stated, even if we took their word for it. It's abnormal to act like this. 3D assets, Teespring stores with negligible sales, or not liking a comic book. It's not worth getting so riled up that you harass others and risk going to jail or prison. Be easy. Oh, and I'm dead. Y'all, and God bless. But, 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 come on. Come on. But dog, come on, man. How could anybody come out here and defend and you know defend this guy for going after Eric July like this? Like, bro. Dog. Bro, how could anybody defend that Riley guy for this? Because oh, it's 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 just a harmless joke. A harmless joke can get you in the grave. That's the point, especially nowadays when people using clout to gain popularity quick. Again, that's how you that's how you end up in the hospital. That's how you end up beat up or in the grave. Is it really worth it? Especially because it's a over a comic book that you don't like or the, or said guy that made the comic book that calls out leftism and knowing this and seeing from what I've seen from this guy, he is a full fledged deranged leftist. He's a full-fledged deranged leftist. People out here defending this full-fledged deranged leftist. Again, look at this. Freaking Nerdette. A chick who hates Eric July because she got beaten in a debate by him. 
She said she's out here defending this uh, again, guy. This is what I'm picking up. And uh, then at some point, the owners, I guess, after trying to give them uh, give the person a break, uh, ended up calling the law boys. And the law boys um, got them out of there at some point. Funny thing is, I didn't know anybody got arrested outside the event until a fan actually came up to me and told me that 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 was the case. And I was like, oh, well, sucks to suck, I guess. Yeah, yeah. But, I, I uh, mean, like, I don't even like Eric, and I feel like he's not in the yeah, wrong we can here. Tell. I don't know. Yeah, it kind of sucks to suck. It's not illegal to take video of people in public, no matter how annoying it is. No, I, I don't disagree. But... It, it's a private private establishment. They're allowed to set the rules, and they're allowed to call the cops if you're a nuisance. Exactly. You can't be a nuisance in public. You just can't. Now you're just lying, Tony. That's what I don't get. You can admit when someone fucked up, right? Like... You have zero proof that Eric told his assistant to call the cops, right? Do you have a single amount of proof? And that's so weird to me because uh, Tony used to be so objective about shit, right? Do you have any proof whatsoever? Or are you just assuming? Like, this is my recommendation. You know what I mean? If, if there is something that definitely if you want to tell me about things, do things the proper way, man. The last dude that you want to be is someone that's like trying to cause a scene and and being weird to, to people, uh, innocent parties and stuff like that. Yeah, Don't do that. I agree. Um, I agree. I mean, I, I, I again, have to keep saying this, not a fan of Eric July, but I agree. We know. Don't do that shit. That's fucking stupid. If he had a warrant, yeah, he said he had a warrant. He said he had a warrant. He said in the video we just watched that he had a warrant and he was getting arrested for it. For the previous harassment, it sets up a pattern. Do you, 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 you never answered my question. Do you have objective proof? Do you have proof that Eric called the cops? Or are you just talking shit? Yeah, so a rare, rare W for, from the debt here. Again, I, I don't watch the debt. I don't. But yeah, between those two, uh, rare W from. Her discussing Eric July. But, bro, come on. Again, all this was over some goddamn comic books. Over some goddamn comic books, bro. This thing, I'm a, hey, y'all can already see, I'm a supporter of uh, Eric July. But if it's something that I would call out things, you know I see it down the middle. You know I'm neutral in, in a whole bunch of situations, right? Y'all know I'm neutral. People long term that's that's uh, been subscribed to me. Yeah, no, I, I keep things neutral. I keep things down the middle, right? I will call out, you know, I call out anybody. Let this, let this, Republicans, Libertarians, Centrists, doesn't matter. But bro, all of this shit over some goddamn comic books. You gotta be the you got to be a full-fledged loser to get mad over some comic books. What, what, like, what, like, what's the prize here? What's the worth here? Doing all this. You doing it for clout? You doing it to, to, to try to grow your YouTube channel? Everybody got you. A lot of people has your videos as proof of how you act. But because you trash talk Eric July, you will have the most deranged person that probably did some effed up, some, uh, effed up mess come out and defend you because you trash talk Eric July. And that's what I, that's what I'm seeing here. Even with everything that came out, what some, what people reported about you, because the internet, whether some people are, the internet is a place to find some information. It's a place to find some bad information. Some place to find some good information. Or some misinformation. But right now, for what a lot of people have pulled up on you, doesn't seem like that line about this Riley guy. It doesn't seem like that line. He was doing some stupid shit. He fucked around. And he found out. Now, like I said, he's probably out right now. He's probably, Yeah, he's most likely out. And he's still doing the same goddamn thing. Like I said, man. Like I said, Eric July better than me because he 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 got a business to run. He has a he has a wife to take care of. 
he has uh, people to take care of. Like I said, if it was me, a man who's nothing to lose, if I found out you did that shit to my family, man, it's lights out, man, for real. Clap, clap on, then it's clap off. That's just me, though, man. That's just me. But I don't know, man. Let me know what y'all think about this in the comments below, man. You guys like the video, man? Like, comment, subscribe. Share the video. Hit the notification bell. I will see you next one. Peace.